I wasn't really aware of how early I wanted to be a writer until my father died and I got back my high school yearbook where under my picture it had one of those elliptical paragraphs and between dots and dots it said writer as my ambition and that would have been sophomore year high school. So that's the earliest I can say I thought of being a writer. By then I had a very tough Polish nun shoving me into contests, writing and speaking contests, and I'd better win. And I guess that's where I got that, that fantasy at age 14 or 15. Um, actually, I didn't go directly to college. Uh, by chance, I was at the scene of a, a, a stabbing of a police chief near Pottstown, Pennsylvania, where I lived, and I called the city editor and said, there's been a, a police chief attacked out here, send a reporter. And he said, we don't have one until tonight. I said, what kind of newspaper is this? And he said, do it yourself. And I did, I covered it. And I got it in the paper and got a two week trial on the Pottstown Mercury. I was 18, so I had to write every day. All the others had master's degrees from Columbia or Missouri. Uh, I couldn't even type, but I stuck with it, basically, until they talked me into going to college, which I did at night for nine years, while I kept writing. So I, I really haven't stopped writing since I was 18. As for biography, I read a lot when I was a kid. Whenever my father got a book in, especially by Kenneth Roberts or Douglas Southerl Freeman, I grabbed it and read it. So I've always loved history and biography. As a journalist, I became a feature writer. Um, went from the Mercury to the Philadelphia Bulletin, now extinct, uh, and was a, a correspondent for them in New Jersey, covering the legislature, crooked politicians without end, uh, and then was brought into the Bulletin as a young editor, 25. So it basically was in journalism for 17 years, writing the whole time. And whenever they needed an historical piece, which wasn't very often in newspapers at that time, they gave it to me for the Sunday magazine or for a feature. And eventually, I was assigned a piece for Washington's birthday and found a whole unpublished archive of his letters. By then, I was an investigative reporter, and I found a collection of, an autograph collection of Washington papers, wrote it up for their Sunday supplement, and it was actually, as a result, given a research grant by the American Philosophical Society to write about William Franklin. So it happened that way, all serendipity, but from wanting to write uh, from childhood. I can't ever remember wanting anything else.